Welcome back to Elden Ring. It's time to explore the last place left on the map before we set off for new map fragments. The last place is north of northern Liernia Lakeshore. We have, looks like a structure here. And then I'm just going to lump this all into one. This whole thing seems like a large castle, I think. Before we head over there, let's take a look at some equipment first, though. I was testing some weapons off camera, and I didn't find anything that I want to replace my Knight Rider flail with. But I did find one weapon that has a really nice Ash of War. I'm thinking, of course I love the Ash of War Wild Strikes, or Spinning Chain, but I think one of my biggest weak points is dealing with shields or heavies. You know, trying to basically break poise can be quite difficult for certain enemies for me. So an Ash of War that gives you like a real heavy attack sounds really good. And that's exactly what Carrion Grandeur does in the Carrion Knight's Sword. So that's a unique one that you can't replace. And take a look at it. Yeah, it's like the Greatsword spell, but well, on my sword, and I think it probably does way more damage. Because it can be charged up. If you just tap it once, it just goes up to like one level. But if you charge it all the way, it can charge up three times. One, two, three. And it becomes freaking huge. And I tested it on these octopus, I guess, whatever they are over there. And yeah, it's really good. Really good at breaking their poise. It's good at doing tons of damage. It uses a lot of FP as well, but I think it's worth it. I mean, look at that. Oh, such good range, too. So that's really interesting. I There's a possibility I'll use that in the future. I don't feel like it just yet, though. Oh, yeah, I also wanted to demonstrate Rosas' axe and the special ability for that, which is also a unique one that you can't change. Look at all those skeletons. Let me show you me using it in an actual fight. It's so cool to be helped by all these skeletons. Skeleton friends! Yeah, that's a really cool Ash of War. I don't really want to get up to 18 strength to be able to wield it one-handed, though. I could two-hand it, of course, but eh, I don't want to. Oh, there's a few pieces of armor I wanted to look at as well. We got the, uh, what was it? The Finger Maiden armor set. Yeah, I never took a look at that. Ooh, well, for my head, of course, what I'm wearing right now is really light, so this is actually better in pretty much every way. How does it look? It's not bad. I mean, I kind of like it from the back, from the front, not so much, but I like this so much more. I want bright colors, bold colors. But let's take a look at the main robe. How does that compare? No, as you'd expect, it's a lot lighter, so not really as good, although its protection against magic is really good. Yeah, how does that look? It looks so dirty and soiled. Oh. It's not bad, it's just... It's pretty plain and just kind of dirty. Let's go up north. King's Realm Ruins. Visions of Cellar.
You annoying little bastard. Wow, they're annoying. There we go. Secret ahead. Oh. Did I accidentally hit it and that revealed the secret? Oh, boss? Seek holy. Try healing. Hmm. That probably means it's some sort of undead thing, because healing hurts the undead, right? Or the revenants or something like that? Let's top up. Let's take the Flask of Wondrous Physic. Royal Revenant. Oh god, not this thing. that freaking thing. Behold, dog. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Frozen Needle, a weapon. It's a thrusting sword. Causes frost buildup. It's a dex weapon. Hmm. A razor thin piercing blade of ice, forged by E.G., the Carrion Royal Blacksmith. Can inflict frost upon enemies and launch its blade with a strong attack. The blade immediately regenerates. Interesting. Has impaling thrust, which can be... Cannot be changed. I guess that's the blade launching thing, probably. I want to see this. This sounds really cool. Unfortunately, because I can't change the Ash of War, I think that means I can't change the type of the weapon. So I don't think I can change it to a magic weapon. Quick attack. Strong attack. Oh, the strong attack is the thing that launches it. Oh, maybe I can change the Ash of War on it then. Yeah, that's the Impaling Thrust, because that's a standard... That's one that I have. I can put that on weapons. Ooh. Let's try it on you. Okay, I don't have time to charge it up all the way. Oh, there's a lot here. Uh, it doesn't go that far. Wow, they're annoying. Hold on. Let's get rid of that so I can properly roll. Oh, you know what would 
really good here. This. Oh, yes. <laughs> Perfect. It's like they were made for it. No liar ahead. Hidden path ahead. Hidden path ahead. Damn. Oh, wait. Do you have to do that just to get through and get to the other side? I think you do. So I guess I would have found it anyway. But still, thank you to all that put the messages. Road to the manor. So, it's not a castle, it's a manor? I don't know, it looks like a castle to me. Oh, hey. You're not a statue, are you? No, they're moving slightly. Can I talk with you? Friend ahead. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old. But still able. Smithing Master Eiji. We just found a weapon made by you. What do you sell? A oh, smithing stone. Somber ones. Don't have any need of that just yet. And I assume they can probably do the same work that the guy at the round table hold can do. It's amazing they can do such fine work with such a huge tool. Please take care. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. <laughs> if you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. I bet. Brave tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Karian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rhea Lucari Academy turned on the Karians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Karians were taken off guard. But their strength had not waned, and they repelled the knight's onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor unless you wish to lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the Cuckoo. A snare, some magic trap. I've explained the peril. Of the enchanted snare, whatever you do, break. There must be a way around it. Surely. Well, I guess you don't actually have to find that hidden wall. You could jump this gap with Torrent. Explore this little area. I probably didn't. Because it's not part of the swamp. But it also doesn't connect with up here, surprisingly. Oh, 
Oh, that's just all this again. They just respawned is all. But yeah, let's check real quick if there's something down here. of the hands in the wild. Free range hands. Likely dung. Hey, wait a minute. What, why do I see the huge fingers of a much bigger hand poking out? I knew it! Oh, that one's got some rings! <laughs> so cool. Intelligence, not crystal tier. Hmm. It probably raises your intelligence temporarily. Temporarily boosts intelligence and mixed physic. Yeah. On to the manor. Let's go die. Whoa! Is... That... Is that the thing? I was expecting it to not be till we get a lot closer, but yeah, it's just it's just right there. Well, I can outrun it. Here we go. It's felling trees. Okay, I'm safe over here. Didn't expect trap. Yeah, it's a rat trap. City ahead, try attacking. I really doubt it. I did learn something interesting. Somebody on Twitter told me, or basically linked me to a tweet, that said that some 
Hidden doors in Elden Ring require attacking multiple times. I think the video showed someone attacking like, I don't know, 20, 30 times? It was a lot. It wasn't like two. Assuming that wasn't a bug though, it's probably a very rare thing. I hope, because I'm certainly not going to attack every single potential hidden place like 30 times. This is probably safe. Yeah. No. Oh. Whoa, did I just get... Uh, I got hit. Ah, I got hit again. I can feel it in my controller. Shall I go around the side? Or try the front? Hey, what's going on? Okay, they finally stopped. Ooh. Oh. I saw messages and for a second I thought that was a ladder. Hidden path ahead. Treasure chest ahead. Really? Liar ahead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure pretty sure that's Whoa. Did I get too close to the castle that it considered me be, to be inside? Yeah. secret things. Horfrost stump. been on the other side. Okay. Let's teleport back here and try the front entrance. And we made it! Main Karia Manor Gate. Praise the dashing through. See, whenever anyone tells you, an NPC tells you you can't do something, do it anyway. Fingers ahead. Oh, I already see them. Try fire. up. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fingers. Jeez. 
Jesus, it's so fast. Oh, they're so cold, they need gloves. Whoa, what is that? That's cool that it can use its ring to do magic. It's so cool. I might want to stay away from you. Damn, nasty. I'm not really sure of a good strategy for those. They're very fast. I guess I could try blocking. <laughs> Transme is on my desk and she's grooming herself and her butt is touching the mouse and that's what's making my view turn. I'm not touching anything right now. It's her butt. Thank you. Thank you, honey. I'm just... I'll just take that mouse and put it over there. There you go. You can go back to cleaning yourself, girl. You can go back to cleaning your shelf. something weird noises oh must have been that the sorceress energies. No! Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. Someone said use fire, so let's try fire pots. That did make him, like, roll around. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's very good. If I... Jesus, there goes my souls. I don't even drop that many souls. I think it was around 400 for a big one. Trying to save some FP potions. <gasps> A new spell? Carrion Piercer. Ice Crest Shield. Oh, it doesn't have a hundred physical protection. And much worse guard boost. Small metal round shield, heavier than a wooden shield, but boasts higher damage negation. The Ice Crest originates from a Carrion Princess. Though the effect is slight, it boosts magic damage negation and resistance to frost. Oh, I see that hand. Hi. Ah, fuck. Whew. I have no FP left. I'm going to take the Flask of Wondrous Physic. Wait. Oh, right, I got rid of the damage negation. Now it's the um, FP, uh, magic damage increasing. Oh, I should have used that this whole time. I thought I still had the damage negation on it. Oops. I'll 
Oh, there's so many hands around. So many. Now I can't do wild strikes even. Don't have the FP for that. I might have to just... So many. I'm gonna have to avoid the hands. If I can. Christ. Oh, did you see it? It was scratching itself. Using its fingers to scratch its other fingers. This place is a gold mine of somber smithing stones. Come on. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank God it was behind a tree. Something incredible ahead. People really like to make you think there's secret walls everywhere. What about this place specifically makes people want to do that? Probably a side of grace in here. Lady Ronnie, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Caria. Well, oh, that is so satisfying. All the pews and the light sources. Yes, sight of grace. Try behind. Ah. <sighs> I think for this place I need to reallocate my flask charges. I need a lot more magic and less healing.
at least for the forest of hands which I'm not done exploring oh yes didn't expect treasure chest behold down ah Yeah, not done with the forest. Hi. <laughs> Jesus. When you catch them unaware, they're quite easy to deal with. When they catch you unaware, Christ. Let's try this again. This is back to the start. Be wary of underground. There's a door over there. Oh right, it does this thing. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh Christ. So, we were here. Uh. 
does not open from the side. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Can we get in the back? I guess not. Nah, we gotta find some other way in. That's everything. Let's head out here then. Hopefully up here is something other than fingers for a little bit. I think I've had enough of fingers and hands. Didn't expect fingers. Butthole. <laughs> Oh yeah, something different. What is that? Is that like a trap? Like a landmine? A magic one? Be wary of trap. Seek something incredible. Hidden path ahead, time for down. Hmm. Well, I don't want to jump down just yet. It's down or whoa. It's down or the other pathway. Let's go this way. This is gonna get us on the other side of that other side of that door we found earlier. Yeah.
sort of night and flame. That sounds amazing. Can I wield you? It takes int and faith? Yeah, int and faith. Ah, oh, damn. That'd be an interesting character build. Night and Flame Stance is the special. Storied sword and treasure of Caria Manor, one of the legendary armaments. Astrologers who preceded the sorcerers established themselves in mountaintops that nearly touched the sky and considered the fire giants their neighbors. Hey, that's me. I'm an astrologer. The Night and Flame Stance. Hold the sword level and prepare to cast a sorcery. Follow up with a normal attack to cast the Night Comet Sorcery or a strong attack to sweep forward with a burst of flames. Sounds very good against these hands. Quick attack. Strong attack. And special. Ah, oh, I don't think it... Yeah, I don't think the special works. Because I don't have the faith to wield it. Let's go straight instead of left this time. Try jumping. Hmm. I maybe could make that. There's probably a better way down though, right? Grace, and then try jumping off. Okay. Yeah, worth a try if there's grace up ahead. jumping. Look carefully ahead. Ahead, ahead. Ah.
Is that a whip? It looks odd, though. It is a whip. Weapon made of extremely thin, flexible blades of metal. Yeah, I thought it looked kind of like a blade. It's wielded like a whip by Nightfolk warriors. Though in essence a whip with a cutting edge, it can also be used as a spear to pierce foes. Whoa. Versatile. What to take? It's a bit of a dex weapon. 19 dex. It's so weird to see it move like a whip, but then it sounds like a sword. It's got good range. That's the quick attack. Strong attack. Oh, that last one is like a piercing spear. Damn, that's cool. Let's see if I can use it on something. Oh. Not that. Oh! Woo! God, that thing scares me so much. Praise the I did it. Good job. Well done. Thank you. And that, I think, is a pretty good place to end it. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on the manor upper level.